Hey everyone, this is John Clay from Better Source Benefits. Today we're talking about high deductible plans and what they mean to you and your employees. Folks, uh, research is in and consumers with high deductible plans would have a lower bill if they pay cash rather than using their insurance plan to cover the bill in health care. So we've been tracking and fighting fraud, waste, and abuse in health care forever. And it's now taken an interesting turn because they've just come out with a recent study from our friends at Johns Hopkins University. After surveying over 2,800 hospitals across the country, that confirms that insurance doesn't guarantee companies or their employees the best deal. Shocker. You've all seen the spreadsheet. You've all been in the renewal meetings, and they've laid out all this fantastic stuff, and they're going to control costs, but they can never deliver a measurable, repeatable, and predictable price guarantee or price control over the cost of health care. Well, now we know that cash is king, and that's one of the tools that may be used for a strategic approach to your long-term goals. However, when you take a look at how your capital, which is a big expense in your business, how your employee Human resource, capital expense, you've heard us say it here, healthcare is a capital expense. It has to have predictable, measurable, and repeatable results. And what we're talking about is buying a health insurance product that's basically telling your employees that cash is better than the policy that you're buying and paying for. What's up with that? Because on average, here's what we are learning from this research, Cash prices are coming in below the discounted rates of insurance. When you see a charge master, this is something that very few people understand, but retail pricing is set by the charge master at these hospitals and other healthcare providers. The charge master is the retail price. That's the suggested retail price or MSRP of healthcare. And then what you find is these companies, these insurance companies go in and they negotiate discounts off the MSRP. Well, traditionally, what we see is a negotiated discount of 64 and 58% with uh, these health insurance companies off of the charge master, off of retail. Well, what we're finding now in this recent research is that cash pay is at 47%. So it's way below what you're seeing on the traditional insurance discounting. What does that mean? That means that there's a, there's a little shell game going on here. And the insurance tools are, are showing average cost if they direct you to a, a website. You know, hey, we've got this great new website. You can go and check out your pricing and all this kind of stuff. All that's doing is showing average cost. And what we know is if you walk into a service with 10 different ID cards, you'll get 10 different pricing. And it may be with the same logo on the ID card because they're all over the place. So according to Health Affairs, Real prices make hospitals and doctors more accountable, but we have yet to get to the real pricing, right? So our friend John Hopkins Professor G. Bai has highlighted the potential impact of price transparency, but she stresses the need for better incentives to encourage people to explore lower cost services. At better source benefits, We'll help you get down to the, the real cost of things and we'll drive a better value proposition because anything that's considered not adding value in typical supply chain management, if it's not adding value, it's considered waste and needs to be eliminated. We're going to eliminate that fat and we're going to drive pricing that's transparent, that's measurable, repeatable, and predictable. And I hope to see you soon to talk more about that. Again, I'm John Clay. Our sponsor for today's program is Better Source Benefits.
where benefits are a choice, not a compromise. Talk soon.